Roll them. So I didn't show you what I just did. Can't show you everything. But I figured Kara Sabini would want to see what I'm doing. I'm doing some plumbing. Now I'm a plumber. What I just did was I took apart the fill valve and I scraped off the rust from the diaphragm and I put it all back together and uh, everything was in good shape and I turned down the boiler drain to drain the water and flush the system a little bit and it won't close so I figured well the rubber seal must be bad but that's not the problem I'll show you what the problem is in a second check this out heck is that doing in there? Yeah, chunk. Oh, now I gotta get the Teflon tape. This friggin' never ends. This is a brass craft style of seal that pops onto the post. Kinda hard, but I've got some of these. I just got some in. It's a rubber seal that pops over the post. So this boiler is gonna drain, electric boiler. To shut off the gate valves are closed. Got any more chunks in there? Nope. What the heck is this? What the heck is that doing in there? Hmm. Alright, Teflon tape. Put that back together. Maybe we can turn the heating on. <laughs> Maybe. All right, I put the valve back on and it's still leaking no matter how tight I make it. So time to go back to the uh, friggin' junk pile that I call a maintenance room and get a rubber seal, a 10 cent rubber seal. It goes another half an hour. Son of a gun. Can't get any work done. I gotta change that. Can't have it dripping on the floor. Running towards the drain. Ah, oh, Jesus. All right, I'm back. Now I gotta dig in my back pocket for that little tiny seal washer right there. That's it. Little rubber washer. Now, uh-oh, battery's going dead. I'm gonna make too many videos. Is that wire right in the middle of the lens? Yep. There goes the battery. I gotta pull this thing off. There it goes. Chunks. Battery's going dead. Chunks. Click. This thing's gonna click off any second. There's the new one. Just like that. I'll just pop it back in its little home, run the water a bit to flush any debris out, and turn the water on again. All right, I'll tighten down, tighten down, crank the water on with my new battery. Isn't that nice when you keep a spare battery in your pocket? Wish I would have had that a few times in the last few years, dead batteries. That DeSoto was the best one at the gas station just after Muscle Beluza when the guy's yelling at his girlfriend and cranking through the gears in a 46 DeSoto flathead six. Boy, was that freaking good and I missed it because of a dead battery. I had a spare battery in the car, but my friend was making goo goo eyes at his girlfriend in the restaurant. So much for that. Oh, the regulator's working. If I lift the lever, it bypasses the regulator function and goes to quick fill. Working perfectly, 11.56. Turn the valve off here. You'll hear it taper off the flow of water. Nice. Fixed it. Took it all apart, cleaned it, put it back together. Didn't screw up. Didn't mess up the parts, bust anything. The diaphragm was in good shape, just coated with rust. There was rust in the tub. Cleaned it all up, no problemo.
No problem. Oh, fresh battery. Oh, I got, oh, I got here. Nine minutes, 44 seconds. I keep deleting stuff, putting it on the hard drive. Quick fill. Quick fill. This boiler drain should be on this pipe from the back. That way I could force the water through the whole system. Eleven fifty six F quick fill. Made in USA. Forty bucks for a new one. Make sure the water is not dripping, but of course I changed the seal. There's the old one stuck to the side of the electric boiler. No problem. Go upstairs with my dirty shoes. Carpet from the 60s. Remember that? Grandmother's house or great grandmother's house? Yeah, tufted carpet. Whatever they call it, carved. Fricasseed. Dum -da -dum -da -dum. No leaks. Tog Shop, the fall of 1978. I wonder what these models look like now. Cool Whip. That's the best before date. Dragons. Rust proof maximum. Free. Hand opener and knife sharpener, 688, regular 899, girls' blouses, paper plates, two for a dollar, save 54 cents. Big days. I gotta answer my text messages. See you in a bit. Private message, you can't read it, sorry.